hello everybody welcome back to the channel i appreciate you clicking on this video today we will be setting things on fire in final cut pro specifically we're going to be setting a tree on fire and a building on fire so if you are into any kind of post-production in final cut pro here's the channel but i do not want to waste your time so let's get on into the video okay so we have our clip here it's a drone clip and we want this tree right here to be set on fire. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to our video inspector right here. And we're gonna go to scroll all the way down and we're gonna see a feature right here that says trackers. And in order to have this new feature in Final Cut Pro, you would need Final Cut Pro 10.6 and you need Mac OS Big Sur or newer. So make sure you get that before you try this effect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we wanna click this plus tab right here. And our tracker comes up. And we're gonna make an adjustment with our tracker. So these, this can make it round right here. This little white circle right here. This, you can bring it down. And what you wanna do is you wanna make it fit to the whatever object you have that you're trying to set on fire so just try to make it as accurate as possible and once you're done with that you're going to click analyze and final cut pro will analyze whatever is being tracked Okay, after it's analyzed, we want to add fire. And you can add uh, any type of fire you want. I got this um, fire on YouTube, and it's a green screen um, burning fire. And the link is in the description below if you want to use this exact fire. Okay, so you're gonna drop that footage on top and you can command B to blade it to line up with your clip. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to, since there's still green in the background, we're going to go to our effects tab and we are going to go to, we're gonna go to King and we're gonna add a keyer. So we're just gonna drop this on the fire clip right here. And as you see, uh, the green has gone away and next we are going to click the transform button and what we want to do now is we want to click down on this right here next to tracker and actually before we do that we're gonna scroll all the way down we're gonna click on our bottom clip where we tracked the tree and we're gonna double click right here where it says object tracked and we're gonna name this. And this step is very important. So we're gonna name this tree track. All right, now after that, we're gonna click on our fire and we're gonna click this arrow right here next to tracker. And after that, we're gonna go to the tracker right here and we are going to make it track to the tree track so click tree track or whatever you named your um subject that you tracked and after that we're gonna resize the position of the fire so we're gonna go to our we're gonna click on our fire and we're gonna go to scale so we're gonna scale this down a bit and we're gonna crop it as well because this is a little bit too long for that tree. So I'm going to crop the left of it. I'm going to crop the right side a bit. Okay, after we do that, we want to drag that on top of the tree. I'm going to crop the left side a little bit more. And the right a little bit 
Oh, so right there. Right about there is good. And after that, what we want to do is we want to go to our color inspector right here. And we're going to click on color wheels. And you can just make the adjustments that you want. <laughs> I'm going to go to global and raise this up a bit to make the fire more orangey red. And bring that up a little bit right there. So look good like that. Okay, I think that looks a bit better. Now we're going to go to our effects tab. And we are going to type in heat. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag the heat icon on our clip right here. After we drop the heat effect on there, we're going to click on the inspector tab and we are going to we're going to add a mask right here. So we're going to click on this right here and we're going to add a shape mask. And we're going to click done right here so the shape mask will reappear. And now the tracking uh option shows up right here and we're gonna click the down arrow button again and we're gonna track this the tracker to the tree track or whatever you named it All right and then after we do that we're gonna adjust the shape mask to about whatever the size of the tree is Just the outer layer as well. Let's just see what this looks like so far. It looks okay so far. We're going to have to do some readjusting. So let's go to our tracker. We are going to adjust the fire a bit about right here. Let's see how that looks. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to trim these two clips to where the fire looks best and looks the most real. So I'm going to do that. looks pretty good you can even make it smaller just to make it look even more realistic that looks really good okay now let's move on to the next effect Okay, for this next effect, we'll be following the same directions as the tree effect. I just wanted to give you a different look at a different scene. Okay, so we have this scene right here. This is downtown Houston. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just follow the instructions that we did last time. So click on the clip, go down to the tracker, adjust the tracker to your liking. I'm going to click analyze. Okay, after that is tracked, we want to name this track right here. We're going to go building. And after we rename it, we want to add the fire. to Keyer, actually Keen, and go to Keyer. I'm going to trim this down to the length of that clip. And then we're going to 
click on transform right here. And I'm gonna click this track right here. We're gonna go to building track. Now we're gonna resize the fire and crop it. After you resize that and crop it to your liking, we are going to open the heat effect. So go to the effects tab and type in heat and add the heat to the bottom clip. And we're going to add a shape mask. I'm gonna click done right here so the shape mask can appear and you're just gonna adjust the shape mask to your liking and then we're going to hit this arrow right here and we're going to do building track or whatever you named it I'm gonna adjust the shape mask just a little bit more Now let's just see how this looks right quick. I think we need to make an adjustment on the shape mask. So let's do that. See how it looks now. Let's do one more adjustment. The bottom is looking a little bit. Yeah, let's tighten that up a little bit. And now let's see. Okay, yeah, that looks way more realistic. And we're even gonna mess around with the fire to make that look even more realistic. So we're gonna go to our color. Inspector, I'm gonna add a color uh, wheel. I'm gonna go to global. I'm gonna make that red. Turn that up a bit. See the highlights. Let's see how this looks. There we go, that looks really good right there. I really appreciate you guys clicking on this video. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you have any questions, comment below. And be sure to like this video if it helped you out. And consider subscribing because we will be dropping a lot more videos like this and even better. So stay tuned so you can be the first one. All right, I appreciate you guys watching.